Welcome everybody. In this video, we will talk about physical measurements. So what exactly is the measurement? Measurement is a process of comparing a known quantity with another of its kind to find out how many times the first includes the second. So how can we understand that? For example, to understand this definition, for example, if we have a door and, and we want to know the length of this door. What exactly, or how can you measure the length of this door? What is the process of measurement here? You will, uh, for example, uh, measure the length of this door by a meter tape. Meter tape. Meter tape. So in this process, the meter tape is known for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on centimeter or 1 meter equals 100 centimeter so the meter tape is known and this lens is unknown In measurement process, you will compare the unknown quantity with known quantity. For example, the length was 2 meter. The length was 2 meter. So, you find out how many times the first, which is unknown, includes the second, which is Known. Okay, this is a measurement. Another example, if you have uh, vegetables, vegetables in a bag, vegetables, and you want to know the mass of these vegetables, how can you measure the mass of vegetables using Balance scale using balance scale. Okay. The seller will use a known known masses, for example, one kilogram with known mass. while the vegetable mass is unknown so if you want to measure the mass of vegetables you will compare the mass of unknown or so oh sorry the unknown mass with known mass for example the mass was one kilogram so you will find out you will find out how many times the first, which is unknown, includes the second, which is known. Uh, for example, it will be one kilogram or two kilogram and so on. Okay, so this, is, this is the measurement. So what are the key elements of measurement process? What are the key elements? Key elements of measurement process. The key elements of measurement, first of all, you have to determine the physical quantity, the physical quantity that you want to measure. Number two, you have to know what exact, what is the suitable measuring tool, measuring tool to measure this physical quantity. Then, after measuring, you will find the number that, for example, one, one, what, one kilogram, method, for example, two, two meter, for example. So after another number, there is a measuring unit. So the third element will be measuring unit. So these are the key elements of measurement. Physical quantity, physical quantity, for example, length, 
or mass or time uh, and there are another physical quantity which is uh, velocity, speed, um, volume, area we will talk about these uh, quantities in details later on measuring tools such as length for example meter tape or uh, uh, ruler mass is measured by common balance time can be measured by uh, stopwatch measuring units for example the measuring unit of uh, lens meter centimeter kilometer for large lenses um, mass kilogram can be measured by kilogram or gram uh, time can be measured by second minute or hour okay so we will talk about what exactly are the types of physical quantities so the key elements of measurement we understood that the key elements of measurement are physical quantity measuring tool measuring unit then we will talk about each element from them in details first of all we will talk about physical quantity what are the types of physical quantity physical quantities There are two types of physical quantities which are fundamental fundamental physical quantities and the other type is derived physical quantity. What is the difference between them? Let's say examples first then we will illustrate. Fundamental for example length which are length, mass, time and they are, can be symbolized by length L, mass M, T, time and they derived for example like area area is a derived physical quantity while fundamental is a fundamental sorry uh, why length is a fundamental physical quantity why because area for example area of a rectangle area of a rectangle equal length multiply width area equal length multiply width so what exactly is length length is length width is length also so the area is derived from length For example, speed. Speed is a physical quantity, but it is a derived physical quantity. Why? Because the speed is derived from what is the rule of speed? Speed equal distance over time. So what is the distance? Distance is length. time is time so speed is derived because it is derived from length and time another example density density is a physical quantity but what is the rule of density density equal mass over volume mass is mass Volume is length multiply width multiply height, so volume is derived from length. So density is derived from mass and length power 3, so density is a derived physical quantity because it is derived from the fundamental. So the fundamental physical quantity to another or cannot be defined by another physical quantity, they are defined by itself 
fundamentals they are defined by itself length mass time but the derived physical quantity they are derived from the fundamental like as you know as we saw in this example speed is derived from length and time density is derived from mass and length area is derived from length and so on so measuring tools Measuring tools, for example, measuring tools from length ruler, meter tape, Werner caliber 4, very small lenses, micrometer 4, very small lenses also. Uh, mass, measuring tools of mass, uh, like Roman scale, beam balance, analog scale, digital balance. Uh, time, the measuring units, sorry, measuring tools of time, hourglass, clock, stopwatch, and digital watch. Measuring units. Measuring units, there are more than system that discuss the measuring units. But uh, we will talk about the international system of units. In this system, we will measure the lens by meter as a unit, mass by kilogram, time by second, electric current intensity. Electric current intensity is a fundamental. All of the, all of these, all of these physical quantities are fundamental, which are length, mass, time, electric current intensity, absolute temperature, amount of material, luminous intensity, angle measure, solid angle measure. And both of them, or each of them, has an international unit. Lens uh, can be measured by time, meter, mass can be measured by kilogram, time can be measured by second. Electric current intensity can be, me, can be measured by ampere. Absolute temperature can be measured by Kelvin. As we know, the temperature can be, there is uh, another units for uh, temperature which are uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius but the Kelvin is an international unit absolute temperature sorry amount of material mole luminous intensity candle angle measure radian solid angle measure steridian I hope to be uh, get benefit I hope to get benefit from this video if you get benefit from this video, please subscribe and comment below the video and like the video to support the channel. Uh, in, the, uh, in, this, in the next video, we will talk about the dimensional formula or dimensional analysis. In the next video, we'll talk about... Please be with us and support the channel. See you later. Bye-bye.